Hey y'all, Attorney Tom here. We're continuing with our series about real estate transactions. We first covered how to get a mortgage, then we covered what a real estate agent does, the different types of real estate agents, then we covered the types of property deeds, and then we covered what is an escrow account. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on in a linear fashion, and we're gonna be discussing home inspections, which is really the first part of the closing process. And even though you could make an argument that opening up an escrow account is really the first step in closing, I don't really think that way because really the first step in opening an escrow account is depositing your earnest money, which is really just a notification that the buyer is serious. But that doesn't really matter. I'm getting too wrapped up in the details, but you have negotiated a listing price or a purchasing price for the home. You've opened up an escrow account, now it's time to get the home inspected. And before we begin, I'm shamelessly, shamelessly asking you to hit that like button. Every time you hit that like button, the video gets pushed out to the YouTube algorithm so more people can see it and our community can continue to grow. I think we just passed 224,000 subscribers. Y'all's support really means the world to me and my goal is always to make content worthy of your time. The first step in this process is to hire a qualified third party inspector. He or she is going to come out to the house and perform an independent, unbiased investigation of the house. And at the end of the inspector's investigation, they're going to issue a report to both the buyer and the seller. And this report is very, very important. So my first tip to you is when hiring a home inspector, ask to see sample reports that they have done in the past. You need to make sure that you're getting somebody thorough. And additionally, most states have a licensing requirement, so you can't just hire anybody. So make sure they're licensed and make sure they do good work. And according to opendoor.com, the average cost for a home inspector is between $350 and $600. And generally, the buyer is the one who's responsible for paying for the home inspector. But it gets better than that. You should also be mindful that if the inspector finds any latent defects or thinks he finds any latent defects or any other type of issue with the house, they could very well have to come out for a second, more thorough inspection, which would then cost you more money. So sidebar, Matthew, who's behind the camera, just asked me who's responsible for engaging in the inspection. Is it the buyer or the seller? And it really is the buyer, but more so it's probably the bank behind the mortgage. You see, a bank doesn't want to give a buyer a mortgage for a house that has latent defects in it. And more so, even a sophisticated buyer who might be doing an all cash deal would want a home inspected to make sure they know what they're getting into. You could buy a house for $200,000, but let's say it has issues with its foundation and fixing the foundation of the house would cost $100,000. Well, that's not really a good economic investment. So really it is the responsibility of the buyer, but even though all cash deals might not require a home inspection, you should definitely get one. And if you're using a mortgage, which I assume most people are using mortgages, it might be required or it is required. Another aspect you need to be aware of is what a home inspection covers because it does not cover everything. Home inspectors are generally concerned about the physical aspects of the house. They're gonna be looking for things such as foundation issues, structural issues such as termites, the roof, how, what can, kind of condition is the roof in. It does not cover everything. Let me give you examples of that. Let's say your house is in a remote area and it's hard to get cell phone reception and internet reception to your house. Well, the home inspector probably isn't gonna point that out. And in today's day and age, that's probably an important thing. Another example of this could be smell. What happens if you live next to a sewage facility? And when the wind blows in a certain direction, that odor goes over to your house, making it very, very unpleasant. Again, that's not really something the home inspector is going to tell you. And speaking of termites and other type of pests, there might be a totally different inspection for pests. And again, if you're getting a mortgage, they might require that completely separate inspection. So wrapping up the home inspection process, a home inspector comes out to your property, they inspect the property, they issue their report. You have the report, what do you do with it? Well, if the report comes back with a long list of things or even a short list of major issues of the house that you were unaware of, 
you might want to consider backing out of the transaction or renegotiating the price. That same example I used earlier, the $200,000 house with a $100,000 foundation issue. If the initial agreed upon purchase price was $200,000, you might want to contact the seller and say, hey, listen, I'm still interested in buying the house, but only if I can buy it for $100,000 because it's going to cost me $100,000 to fix this thing to the condition that I thought it was at earlier. So what I want you to take away from this video is having a home inspection is really, really, really important for a lot of reasons. First of all, if the home inspector does a good job, you will know the status or condition of your house. And as a lawyer, you always have to think this way, or at least I always think this way, is if the home inspector messes up, you have somebody who you can point to for liability purposes. And yes, home inspectors are liable if they completely mess up. I have a very close family member who bought her first house. The home inspector did not catch that the house was basically a lemon. And within one or two weeks of moving in, a huge pipe burst in their bathroom on the top floor basically flooded out the entire house. It was very obvious that the inspector should have caught this and they pursued action against the inspector or their liability company. So let's recap. You're starting the closing process. You've opened up an escrow account. You've agreed upon an initial purchase price. You get a home inspection. After you get the home inspection report, you are either going to decide to move forward, renegotiate the purchase price, or walk away. Expect to pay roughly $350 to $600 for a home inspection, but keep in mind that if additional inspections are needed, you're going to pay more money and the buyer is probably going to be on the hook for the money. And additionally, if you're going to be getting a mortgage, it is probably going to be required. Okay, that's it for today's video. Please make sure you leave any comments, questions, concerns down below. Also, please consider joining this community. We're growing like crazy. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. And as we continue this real estate transaction 101 series, the next videos are probably gonna be about closing your mortgage application or finalizing your mortgage application, title insurance, the final walkthrough, and the actual transaction of the real estate property. All right, y'all. That's it for today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.